Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to restore your iPhone or iPad from a backup which is located on your Mac. So let's see how we can do this thing. So this is my iPhone which I just bought for example or there is nothing. This is a brand new phone and if you tap it, you will see like this. That means you need to set up everything. So in this phone, I am going to restore from a, an old backup. So at first we need to connect our iPhone with the computer that means with our Mac and then we need to open the finder. So here is the finder. I'm going to tap it or click it then the finder application will be opened like this. So now you will see on the left side there is a couple of menus. If my phone is connected with my computer or Mac then we'll see like this iPhone and if we click here we'll see the details of this iPhone and very shortly it is showing uh, like this to our message activating and this is the thing is looping like that okay and here it is coming like this and here my phone is already connected here you are seeing so here it is coming connecting uh, it is asking the language so what we can do we need to restore from the backup i already have a backup on this mac computer if you don't know how to take the backup of your phone i or ipad i already have tutorial on my channel you can check from there also so restore from this backup so from here we have to choose the phone so i already have this backup it is showing iphone first test this phone i took backup before like 2 50 p 15 pm today it is showing right now it is time 3 1 so like few minutes before like like one hour you can say i took the backup uh, from one of my phone and i'm going to restore to this phone so now what you need to do we need to choose the backup right now i have only one backup that's why it is showing on backup but for your case if you take like multiple backups it will show every backup over there as a list you have to choose the backup which you want to restore so i just choose one because i have only one and then we have to press the continue button so i'm going to click here continue button but i'm not touching anything in my phone see here it is coming like that i'm not doing anything and now you will see the message restoring iPhone Fiestas from backup. So it is actually trying to restore. And here in the uh, iPhone, you will see restore in progress this type of message. So don't touch it, just wait a few minutes. It will take some time based on the backup size. If your iPhone has like one terabyte of uh, data or backup, then definitely it will take some time. But for my case, it is not that much data is lo uh, loaded. It has only very few data over there. So it will take less time. So once the restore is done, then you will see you will see uh, this type of screen. So during this backup time, don't uh, try to disconnect your iPhone or don't try to close this uh, window. Basically, if you do this thing, it will basically take some time and you need to redo it again. So I prefer uh, don't touch it. Let it sit for a couple of minutes uh, to complete the restore and to get the confirmation message. See here, I am not doing anything. I just choose the uh, restore backup and then I linked it and then I press uh, like a start button to start uh, like restore from the backup and I'm not doing anything I just connected my phone with a cable with my Mac computer and it is doing everything for me and here you will see the progress bar also there so see here is the progress bar it's almost done this is also a progress bar so we are seeing it's almost done so we have to wait till it finished during this restore time you will see your phone skin will be like this type of black color and there will be a progress bar it will complete uh, like uh, time to time and continuously it will be updated and once the update is done completely the phone again it will re reboot don't panic here and don't disconnect your iphone to your uh, computer that means you're from your mac or ipad also don't disconnect if you are using ipad to do the same method and once the backup is done basically it will uh, reboot everything so my preference is or i want to tell you don't touch the iphone uh, just keep it there and the restore time it will take it varies based on the backup size if the backup size is higher or larger then definitely it will take more time if the backup size is smaller then it will take less time so it depends on the backup size to restore and once the restore is done then you will see like this type of screen and once the restore process is done then it will show like this type of screen and here in your phone you will see like iphone few steps is showing like this that means your phone is ready now you need to unlock your phone by tapping 
and then you have to uh, like you will see the message like restore completed apps and data will continue downloading in the background so you have to wait uh, till it finished downloading and then there is a continue button i'm going to tap the continue button to go to next step and here it is asking to connect the wi-fi so i'm going to connect my wi-fi so this is my wi-fi i'm going to tap it and then i'm going to connect the wi-fi and very shortly you will see it will be connected and here if it is not connected then you just need to type the password for your wi-fi and then it's asking face id i'm going to ignore it right now so i'm tapping setup later not here set up letter i will set up letter and jet iphone uh, passcode i i'm also ignoring this thing by pressing password option and i'm going to use don't use password and then it will be ignored don't use passcode again and then here you're asking apple account now we need to put the uh, apple account password over here basically so this is the apple account i have so i'm going to type my password over here once i type the password then tap on the continue button to go to the next step and if the password is correct you'll see it is asking two-factor authentication for other device so i have two fa uh, two factor authentication enabled for my uh, phone basically so over there i will see there i have to uh, type the code over there so i'm going to type that code which is 415507 and once i type it it will come like this way signing in then we have to agree this thing i'm going to tap agree and here it is showing few steps signing in location service i'm going to set up later i'm going to choose last option i'm going to press ok and then it will be ignored and then analytics i don't want to share so i'm going to choose don't share and then here it is showing welcome to iphone that means our iphone restore is done then it is asking to save the and save it so my iphone actually restore is done uh, and here you will see the this uh, like these applications are downloading in the background it will take some time but it's downloading see here it is finishing and if you go to the photos you will see some photos are there one or two photos are there see here there is one photo and there is another photo so this comes from the restore basically last from the last backup and that's it guys in this way we can easily uh, like restore our iphone from a backup from by using actually our mac computer that's it. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you face any problem or if you have any question, just put in the comment section.